Hi. In this video, I will show you how to create a JSON schema and iterate the values via Power Automate. So for this example, I am creating a manual triggered workflow. Next step, I'm going to add a compose. And for the compose, I'm going to map an example of a JSON file schema, which I have got here. There we go. So that's a JSON file. And all I got here is a color and some values. The next step, we need to use the pass JSON. Okay. So the, the content is coming from the previous step, which is my example data, which is a compose. So I'm going to output that mapping. Then click on the generates from sample and just paste that, you know, your sample schema of the uh, JSON data. So in this case, you can see I'm just copy and paste the same uh, values I declared for the compose. Okay, and that's done. So once that's done, the next step is we need to trade the value of the colors and the relevant value. So again, another compose I'm going to declare. So here you can see this past JSON step. You can see you can trade these elements, which is a color and the value. So I'm going to get color. Okay, and also I'm going to say dash and say value as well. So you could get, you know, color hyphen values. So let's test this. So just save this example, JSON data schema. Save. Okay, so at this stage, our flow is ready to run now. So next step, I'm going to click text and uh, I will perform the trigger action. Run flow. Okay, so this stage the flow is running and it's executed the combo statement. You can see that, which is, you know, just the hard coded values here. And uh, the next step, we have the past JSON step, which I'm mapping from the previous step. And that has declared, uh, you know, the content as that. The schema we generated was that's the schema. Then the output generator is the same one anyway. So that's fine. And the next step, we are iterating the each values. So it's automatically, because it's an array, it was it automatically add the, um, the, the, array, the, uh, the apply to each loop. And then, um, you know, under the compose, you can see here red dash that values coming up automatically there. So we could see that here. There we go. So that's what you, and you can see that red dash hash F00, then green and the black. So if I trade next, each and every step, you can see the relevant values has been executed. So this is a way using the Power Automate, you can easily generate a, you know, a JSON um, schema and iterate the values. Thank you for watching.